Hey, glad you decided to stick around with us for more Explore Tulsa. You know, on the show, we meet all kinds of great Tulsans. Like those starting businesses that provide jobs and stimulate the local economy. And those who find a way to help others too, like the men and women who support Volunteers of America. In the state of Oklahoma, there are over 7,000 individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities that need our services. Um, we have over 17,000 veterans that need employment and or uh, a home, a place to call home. Um, we have, by 2020, we will need 67,000 units of affordable housing. So there's some really huge needs in our state and we're one of many uh, organizations around, across the state that we're working together to address these issues. We're in our 10th annual Rhinestone Cowboy event here at the Canes Ballroom that will benefit Volunteers of America, Oklahoma. Um, we're fortunate to serve veterans, the aging, the disabled, as well as the homeless here, not only in Tulsa, but across the state. Well, being a small business owner here in Tulsa, I wanted to find a way to kind of give back to the community, get involved more, and so through the Tulsa Young Professionals, um, I got a board internship spot and I had a couple places to choose from. And uh, after looking at all of them, Volunteers of America just seemed like the right fit. My wife and I had gone through some family issues, so the aging services, the payee services really hit home. So what we know um, in Tulsa is that we have a point in time count uh, that tells us that we have over 6,000 individuals on any one night that are in need of a place of shelter. Um, also, obviously, food and all of the different basic needs that go along with that. In our homeless population, we'll serve anywhere from 900 to 1,000 folks every month. Um, we also serve our veterans who are homeless. Uh, we help them to get a job. Our organization is 121 years old. We were founded in 1896, and I found some information the other day where they came through Oklahoma Territory in 1899. So we have been in Oklahoma for a long time, and it was all about when the stagecoaches were going west, we had a post that was here in Oklahoma. And so from that, we've named our event Rhinestone Cowboy, really in honor of those early days of the stagecoach times. And we have a really good time with it, obviously, because we are here at the Canes and we get to dance and have, have fun uh, with some of the old country and western stars that are around here. So it's really a part of our heritage, I think. So uh, the evening we started off, you know, a little, little mingling, just getting to uh, know one another. And that's the great thing about it is, you know, throughout the year, you're in more formal meetings in the boardroom. and you don't get the relaxed environment that we have here. So it's a great chance to get to know people on more of a personal level. Uh, we have a silent auction. There's a lot of items you can bid on. Uh, Chris Mantle is a local artist and he paints a lot of uh, Buffalo portraits. And I think this year he's gonna be here again uh, doing one that will be auctioned off. Uh, you know, live music, dancing, uh, the salad bar is great. We have a salad bar every year that's just to die for. So um, it's just a great time. Oh, we're going to have uh, the Paul Bogart Band. We will honor the Cherokee Nation businesses because they have been tremendous volunteers for us over the year. Um, we'll also be honoring one of our clients um, who has had a heart of courage. We always say that our clients are the best of the best, um, but sometimes, you know, when you ask for help, it really takes a little bit of courage to ask for assistance. And so we've honored several clients over the last five to 10 years, and this year is gonna be really, really special, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it. <laughs> what I hear from folks that come is they walk away, first of all, knowing better what we do, um, but they're really touched by the stories that we tell because it's every day, folks, that we're here on a regular basis helping on, uh, every day, close to 2,500 people every month that we serve, whether they're elderly, they're veterans, it doesn't really matter. We just step in and help those who need help.